We've been doing a lot of work this year on the lip sync effect, so this video here is going to show you another aspect of how to actually use the new auto lip sync effect with uh, marks. So we've enhanced our mark collection now this year to um, actually pr provide better support for this. So you've probably been familiar with creating marks in this uh, mark collection scenario down here. But now we're going to start using those for more things. We've actually added the ability to have um, a mark bar up here. I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, be able to actually add labels to marks. And then we can actually use those labels uh, in the effects now to actually do stuff with. So what I've got here to show you is uh, I've got a, a song here that's um, got some lyrics in it. And I picked the basic um, start of the song here. And you can kind of listen to it. I wish it was Christmas. So there's a chunk or a phrase of the, of the song here. It says, I wish it was Christmas. So um, I'm going to work on trying to actually uh, get that into some lip sync. I'll show you how fairly rapidly you can do this nowadays. So uh, I'm going to go down here and create a new collection. And um, I'm going to um, set this as a, um, a phrase collection here. And then I'm going to just name this as to, you know, uh, I wish it were Christmas. Uh, we can just say, um, this is just a Christmas song of some kind. We can call it whatever we want. So now I'm actually going to uh, turn on that mark bar up there so I can see those. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key here and I'm going to right click up here in the timeline. And then I'm going to type in that first phrase. And you'll notice up here that it um, puts in a, um, a timing mark here, or a, mar a mark like we've used before. Normally, uh, before you've just seen this bar and do the the actual um, timeline here to use to synchronize, but now we actually have the ability to give it length. So I can go up here and drag this around and um, uh, you know make it show an area of time here. So what I'm really looking to do now is this is the phrase. So I want to line this mark up with the with the piece of the song that has that phrase in it. I wish it was Christmas. So that's pretty close there to where that's at. Lines up fairly close right there to that. So now that I have that lined up, uh, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm actually going to say break down the phrase. So what this does here is actually creates a new mark collection that's got the words in it, and it actually takes individual words out of that phrase and breaks them into evenly distributed pieces for the for the marks here, for those word representations. So now my next step is really to start lining up these pieces with the actual words in the phrase. So the marks, as you saw before, I can kind of move them around and, and adjust on them, you know, but... Uh, the, in this case, I really just want to shift them around. So I'm going to hold the Alt key here, and then I can actually move the joint between the two of them back and forth here to help line things up. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and start looping this, and then I'm going to start working on trying to um, to get these words basically in the right places. I wish it was Christmas. 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 demonstrates it for the point of this uh, tutorial here. So now the next step I want to do is actually take and select all of these and then I want to break those down into the phonemes. So now you can see it's added one more collection here. These are the phonemes. These are the you know individual words broken down into the pieces of the phonemes that we need. And uh, so these again are fairly evenly distributed you know across the word when there's more than one or it takes up the whole piece of it. 
And you can tweak and adjust those if you like in the same way that I did the other ones to get those fairly close. But for right now, they're, they're probably close enough to demonstrate. So then now I'm actually going to take and take the lip sync effect here, and I'm going to drop it on here. I'm going to roughly line it up here with the phrase. And then I'm going to change it. This is the old way was just basically telling it what phenoms to use, and you would put you know, multiple ones on there and create all of these individual pieces. But now I'm actually going to just tell it to use a mark collection as its alignment. I'm going to go pick this phonem collection right here. And then I'm going to tell it to turn on the eyes and the face outline. So now you can see that just by configuring that up there and having these marks all set up up here, this thing has generated all of the pieces and parts that, you did that would have been done manually in individual effects before. It's all part of one effect now. So with that, then I can actually take and uh, bring my preview over here. And I can I've got all of my faces in there Christmas. singing along to so that uh, track that I set up there. I wish it was Christmas. And actually take and just move this down on my groups. And I wish it was Christmas. Grouping that I'm after here without any kind of fooling around with changing things in the effect. That around and line that up and you've got various um, tops that are singing pieces of the song. You just basically have to create uh, the lyrics set up up here once and then you can do multiple effects and have individual ones do multiple pieces of it. So I can actually take this and drop it down here to where it does those, those first there and you can see the tops there that I can actually just take and clone this thing and bring it over here. Christmas. I wish it was Christmas. Very easily. I wish it was Christmas. 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 I wish it was Christmas.